Hi, friends. I know that I didn't get to see many of you on or around Valentine's Day, and I didn't want to miss an opportunity to read a love story with you. Yes. So uh, I'm doing this special edition library video so uh, that we can attend a wedding, actually, in today's book. Um, and it's actually a cockroach's wedding. How many of you have seen a cockroach before? Okay, now in Los Angeles, I will go ahead and show you, we actually have four different kinds of cockroaches. Yes, that's right. We have the German cockroach, the Oriental cockroach, which is a little bit um, smaller in color or, and darker in color, the American cockroach, which is the largest and is sometimes called a water bug, and the brown banded cockroach, which is actually the smallest species we'll see here. Now in today's story, we are not gonna see any of these four. Um, we are going to see one that is actually much more beautiful. Yes, today's story is a Cuban cockroach and it's notable for its beautiful green emerald color. Now today's story is a folktale from Cuba actually, and a folktale is a story that is passed down from generation to generation, not written down in a book always, but usually by mouth. Yes, people tell this story to each other. And this means folktales contain wisdom that one generation wants another generation to know. All right. So while I'm reading today's story about our beautiful cockroach, I want you to be thinking about why one generation would tell this story to another? What wisdom do they wanna pass on to their children? So today we're going to the wedding of, her name is kind of long, uh, I'm gonna say it slowly. It's Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha. And that will usually be followed by the phrase, beautiful muchacha. Muchacha is, um, it means young woman in Spanish and cucaracha means cockroach in Spanish. So we'll hear Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha many times in this book. All right, and with that said, let's find out uh, who Martina will marry in today's love story. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, a Cuban folktale. And remember, be thinking about what the wisdom in this story is. The green on this page is supposed to look like the beautiful green of the Cuban cockroach's wings. Martina, the beautiful cockroach. And Martina lives right up here in this lamp. And you can see a teeny tiny cockroach up there right now. And some are on their way up. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, a Cuban folktale retold by Carmen Agra Didi and illustrated by Michael Austin. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha was a beautiful cockroach. She lived in a cozy street lamp in Old Havana with her big, lovable family. Now that Martina was 21 days old, she was ready to give her leg in marriage. The Cucaracha household was crawling with excitement. Every senora in the family had something to offer. Tia Cuca gave her una pineta a seashell comb. Mama gave her una mantilla, a lace shawl. But abuela, her Cuban grandmother, gave her some un consejo incredible, some shocking advice. Hmm, let's find out what this shocking advice is. <gasps> you want me to do what? Martina was aghast. You are a beautiful cockroach, said abuela. Finding a husband to choose from would be easy, but picking the right one could be tricky. But, but, stammered Martina, how will spilling coffee on a suitor's shoes help me find a good husband? Her grandmother smiled. It will make him angry. Then you will know how he will speak to you when he loses his temper. Trust me, Martina, the coffee test never fails. But Martina wasn't so sure. It does sound like some strange advice. She's got to spill coffee um, on the people that are coming to visit her. Let's see how this plays out. Well, meanwhile, Papa sent El Perico, the parrot, to spread the word. And soon all of Havana, 
From the busy sidewalks of El Prado to El Moro Castle was abuzz with the news. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, was ready to choose a husband. As was the custom, Martina would greet her suitors from the balcony under her family's many watchful eyes. Daintily, she sat down and crossed her legs and crossed her legs and crossed her legs because she has six. And she didn't have to wait long. Don Gallo, the rooster, strutted up first. Martina tried not to stare at his splendid shoes. Those do look nice. Keeping one eye on his reflection, Don Gallo greeted her with a sweeping bow. Caramba, you really are a beautiful cockroach. I will look even more fabulous with you on my wing. And with that, he leaned forward and crooned. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, will you marry me? Martina hesitated only for an instant. Coffee, senor? <gasps> Ah, look here. Read the picture. Did the coffee test work? Notice uh, how the rooster is reacting. Well, right on cue, Abuela appeared. With a quick glance at her grandmother, Martina nervously splashed the coffee onto the rooster's spotless shoes. Oh my, she said with mock dismay. I'm all feelers today. Kitty Ricky! The rooster was furious. Clumsy cockroach, he said. I will teach you better manners when you are my wife. Well, Martina was but stunned. The coffee test had worked. A most humble offer, senor, she said coolly, but I cannot accept. You're much too cocky for me. All right, well, the coffee test worked once. Let's see if it'll work a second time. Don Cerdo, the pig, hoofed up next. His smell curled the little hairs on Martina's legs. What an unimaginable scent, Martina wheezed. Is it some new pink cologne? Oh no, senorita. It is the sweet aroma of my pigsty. Rotten eggs, turnip peels, and stinky cheese. Don Cerdo licked his chops and sang. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, will you bury me? Well, Martina had already left in search of the coffee. She wasted no time with the pig. Grog, grog, squealed Don Cerdo as he dabbed the coffee on his shoes. What a tragedy for my poor loafers. He really is quite a ham thought Martina. Calm yourself, senor. I'll clean them for you. I'll say you will, he snorted. When you're my wife, there'll be no end to cleaning up after me. Well, Martina rolled her eyes in disbelief. A most charming offer, senor, she said dryly, but I must decline. You are much too boorish for me. The coffee test had saved her from yet another unsuitable suitor. This would not have been a good match, no? All right, let's see if it'll work a third time. Pig was scarcely out of sight when Don Lagardo, the lizard, crept over the railing. His oily fingers brushed the little cockroach lovely mantilla. You shouldn't sneak up on a lady like that. I don't sneak, I creep he said, circling Martina. For some reason, this fellow really bugged her. I've had enough creeps for one day, said Martina. Adios. But I need you, I want you, wait. The lizard fell onto one scaly knee and warbled, Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, will you marry me? Martina sighed. Well, let me see if there's any coffee left. This time she wasn't taking any chances. 
Martina returned with two cups of coffee for the lizard. Psst, he spat. Don Legardo was livid. He changed colors three times before he finally found his true one. And to think, he hissed, I was going to eat or marry you. Martina stared at the lizard. You could have heard a breadcrumb drop. Food for thought, senor, Martina said icily, but I must refuse. You are much too cold-blooded for me. When her grandmother returned to collect the day's coffee cups, Martina was still fuming. <sighs> Going back inside, abuela. So soon? See, si, I'm afraid of who I might meet next. Abuela drew Martina to the railing and pointed to the garden below. What about him? Martina looked down at the tiny brown mouth and her, her cockroach heart began to beat faster. Tiki tin, tiki ta, tiki tin, tiki ta. Oh, Abuela, she said, he's adorable. Where has he been? Right here all along. What do I do? Go talk to him, she said, and be yourself. Martina handed Abuela her pineta and mantilla and scurried down to the garden where the mouse was waiting. Tiki tin, tiki ta, tiki tin, tiki ta. Hola, hello. His voice was warm like honey. My name is Perez. Hola, she whispered shyly. And Martina, the beautiful cockroach, he finished for her. You think I'm beautiful? The little mouse turned pink under his fur. Well, my eyes are rather weak, but I have excellent ears. And I know you are strong and good, Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha. And then he squinted sweetly. Who cares if you are beautiful? Tiki tin, tiki ta, tiki tin, tiki ta. Martina! Don't forget the coffee! It was Abuela. No, thought Martina. No coffee for Perez. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha. See, Abuela. Martina knew better than to argue with her Cuban grandmother. With a heavy heart, she reached for the cup. See how this goes? She really doesn't want to do it because she likes Perez. But Perez got there first. Quick as a mouse, he splashed the Cafe Cubano onto Martina's shoes. Now, the coffee was on the other foot. Well, Martina was too delighted to be angry. At last she'd found her perfect match, but she had to ask, how did you know about the coffee test? Perez grinned. Well, mi amor, my love, I too have a Cuban grandmother. Ah, so maybe Perez's mother, Perez's grandmother, and Martina's grandmother, maybe they set this match up. And there they are, getting married under the light of the street lamp. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed uh, going to the wedding of a cockroach and a mouse. And I will be back next week with another story for you.